Good afternoon. Hello. Um, we are the parental role and we're playing Dungeons and Dragons as a family around the table. We thought you'd like to join us. Um, this is uh, Sam, who is playing Luna Night Shadow. This is Sarah, who's playing Era Or, a uh, dragon, no, uh, Era Cobra monk. We have I'm, candy. We have candy. I'm playing Miss Mercy, an uh, elf pirate. Lewis is playing Jake, who is an uh, Asimar bard. And Beck is playing Gadget, who's a uh, gnome uh, artificer. And Phil's at the end of the table. He's our DM. And yeah, thank you for joining us. We have come back to town after looking for Luna's family and ended up finding some interesting underground caves that someone was using for smuggling. And humans as well. And I found some interesting information at the town hall. I think that's a kind and of lots quick money. catch up. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff at town hall. Bye, um, thievery. You, sold, you sold the location I of. Shh, listen. You sold the location of the hot spring you found for a magical banjo. Yes. Jake immediately used it to cast invisibility on <laughs> Mist, who went and robbed the mayor. And then um, she took a bunch of the stuff she had stolen uh, to um, to a fence named Stephen at Stephen's Bakery, and Stephen recognized her. Mm -hmm. But none of you were there, so. I, I just realized you meant like a person. You said fence, and I felt like a, a metal fence. And I'm like, why did we take stuff to a fence? And why is the fence his name Stephen? Oh, it's the baker guy. Got it. Okay, okay I need everyone who is not missed to roll me perception checks. Wait, even me too. Do we miss like stealing something? Yep. Mm, well, well, I don't know. 20. 20. Listen, I'm probably going to roll terrible Guys, the perception curse is still here. Mm -hmm. Seven. Um, Five. Five? I rolled a seven, but I got a yep. minus two. Mm, nice. My I actually rolled fairly okay. Well, my perception curse is still here. I, I have not rolled high in perception. So what did you get? Seven. Seven, okay. What's right? That's nice. 14. 14. Okay, I got 14. Okay. Now, how worried were you guys that Invisible Mist was going to come take your stuff? Extremely. Though I was also trying to convince the, that I had lost her in the town and that I was far enough away that she wouldn't be able to get to me in the room. I wasn't so. really worried because if she would do it, I could be like, so this is my. I could talk her. To give it back and give me a wood, because I can do this more often. I trust Mist completely. She is my best friend, and and she has never done anything wrong in her life. Okay. <laughs> so the two of you are at the Fitzbrocket house. Mm -hmm. The house is full of strange noises, but uh, Luna, you get used to them, and you have a really deep and restful sleep. You feel safe at home, and you trust Miss completely. You're not worried at all. Uh, Jake, you hear noises in the middle of the night, scratching at your window. All kinds of weird things. You don't have the best sleep because you think that Miss might show up and take your stuff. Era, er, every time the bushes move, you're like, oh, oh, she's here! Oh, she found me! You wake up the next morning feeling pretty groggy. An hour spell. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I would know that. How? I don't know. Can you cast it? No. You don't know that. <laughs> She's invisible forever now. <laughs> she could be anywhere. Why did Jake do this to you? Um, where do you guys meet up the next day? I don't know. Did we we <laughs> nope. We just all just kind of left. Yeah. At my restaurant. I'm gonna go to well, um, um, Lewis's restaurant. I forget his name. Okay. Uh, as you guys. Uh, uh, I, feel like, I feel like it's gonna be called Fireworks. You have to drag me out of the lab. I entirely forget that I have other friends to work on and get caught up in a project. Yeah. Come on. So you, you get all you get all organized. You meet up at at uh, Jake's parents' restaurant slash magical research laboratory. 
Um, and, uh, oh, your dad's an accountant. So it's magical food research and accounting. And school. Yeah, and school. Um, and she serves you a lovely breakfast. Um, All of us? Yep. So it's free? Yep. So she likes you guys. Good. Jake, just... Jake, came home, Jake came home pretty happy. But I don't look back, though. He was... Uh, also, I was a bit tired. Yeah. Yeah, he was already exhausted. Yeah. He's only got one level of exhaustion now, right? No. That was the second rest. That was the second rest? Okay. Okay, so you're not exhausted anymore from all your crazy swimming. Yeah. Uh, and you are together, and you can uh, you can do what you want. You, as far as you know, you have two things left on the list that the mayor asked you to do. Okay. What was that? Uh, the mayor wants you to uh, handle something for Antonia Marcelina, and you are supposed to um, help the. Uh, the, the ranchers the, the, the ranchers are losing cows. We talked we have not talked to Antonia Marcelina yet, right? We have mm -hmm. spent some time with her. She asked us to go east and figure out what's going on. She sent some people east and they haven't come back. Well we have like the ring of a guy who's from the east, right? Well yeah. we don't he, we don't know that he's from the east. We just know that like ring. east wing leader, right? East crane. Yeah. East crane. When we're having the breakfast, I probably sit down and eat, and then I see Miss and I'm like, oh, <laughs> thank goodness! And then I go back to eat. Happy to see you, too. <laughs> I was terrified you, because you snuck somebody for me during the night. I, oh, you're my grandma, I'm going to I pull up my daddy, yo! Lovely meal. Um, anything you guys want to do before you head east out of town? Do we want to head east? Do we want to go to the farmers? Um, I want to put. Let's not go east. We have a plan. Us going east. Yes, I feel like we're going to go to the farmers. Good chaos gardening. Good work. Also, I like to grab the stuff I need to keep trying to build my blindness fiber kind of spell. We're probably going to have to work with Gadget on that in her workshop. Oh. Uh, what do we have there? I got a thing a while ago, but it had, like, it took time before it could work. The, the collapsible workshop, when is that able to be used again? Uh, in about three days. Three more days after today? Yeah. Cool. What's its cool, cool down? About a week. Wow. That was just because it was... Uh, Broken for a while, right? Mm -hmm. After that, it's just open and closed. You don't know. I hope so. You've never heard of one of these before. Um, I'm about to make the biggest, sweetest pasta in the whole entire world. <laughs> Can I make some like miniature grenades for you? How long is that gonna take? You might have <laughs> access to explosives. Um. Uh, Roll me a tinkering check. Dex plus your proficiency bonus. What's going to be intelligence instead? Uh, sure. Yeah. 18. Okay. How much damage, damage do these grenades do? Um. And how many? You make two grenades. All right, yay! Um, they're basically oh, burning paints. Oh, so they'll do 3d6 fire damage to a uh, 15 foot cube. <laughs> no, it's 15 foot cone usually. Yes, two grenades. Not, not, not do 3d6? It's, yeah. it's not, it's not explosive damage. Not it's fine. Long. Sarah, Sam. A cube and the circle take up the same amount of space. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's a cube or a circle. Because when we use battle maps, 
um, that we don't really do circles, because circles on a square-based battle map would be really weird. But as long as part of the spell is touching that circle, or that square, then that person takes damage. So it can be a circle or a square in that 15-foot. Okay. Yeah. Wait, how many circles did you say? 15-foot uh, cube. So 3 by 3. That's 9, though. Yep. It's yeah. normally a 15-foot cone. Yeah, but 3 by 3 is 9, not 15. Yeah. 15 foot, 3 by 3. It's got right. 5 foot squares, right? Yeah. Yay, American. We need a metric DD. Okay. All right, anyone else have any other prep before you guys head out to one of the jobs you have? Lewis, you bet. Can, may you ask your mom to make us some food? Mm. We already have some, I believe. We already have the rainbow rations. Yep. Yeah. Can we have our rainbow rations refilled? Yes. To refill your rainbow rations for you. Cool. So as long as we come back every seven days, we're five. Five days, we're gonna. Um. No, seven because it's rainbow. You guys morning. are carrying around the three kegs of whiskey. We, we might sell, want to sell that. Where do we want to take them? I don't know. Um, one, maybe to somewhere that, like, we technically sold them. There was an that inn. Um, Antonia um, had an inn at the bottom, underneath the, but not an inn, uh, a restaurant, restaurant or a bar underneath the. Um, it's in the stolen, though. It's found. Uh, it's I think it would still end up with Antonia. Oh, okay. So we could just take it straight to Antonia. But it's if you want to go see Steve, Steve again. Uh, I don't know, my character doesn't know. So. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should sell it to the Antonia, maybe. Okay. She had a, a lakefront restaurant yeah. underneath the tavern? No, that was someone else's. Underneath the town hall was a different restaurant. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we gotta go talk to Antonia anyway, so let's head that way. Antonia has another restaurant on the waterfront. Oh, is that, so is both both of them are hers? No. Oh, different There's ones. a restaurant underneath the mayor's um, office, and, then there's, and um, that's Jake's where, where Matina was. Athena. There's Jake's parents' restaurant, and then Antonia Marcelina has a restaurant with them. Okay. Why do all the important Do these have restaurants, restaurants have names? Um, I, 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 I think, um, the, the, the Baradnell family restaurant is called, uh, Baradnell's Fireworks. Hit, 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 hit. Uh, the one under the mayor's place is called Fortin Restaurant. What? Fortin? Fortin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the name of the town. Oh, I thought you said it's Fortin. Yeah, they serve Fortin people. And um, Antonia's restaurant is called Antonia's. Very creative. Just Antonia. Let's go to Antonia's. Okay. Thank you for that. All right. So you guys head over to Antonia's. And uh, you see that the restaurant is fairly empty. Uh, yeah. usually, usually is. I, I'm taking over the restaurant. No, you're not. <laughs> you're in your own restaurant. I've Good morning, Antonia. We found some stuff while we were out yesterday that we thought you might be interested in buying. Uh, oh, excellent. Um, show it to me. Um, we had carried these, right? We weren't they, able to. They are in. Um, oh, you made a bag of holding. She made a bag of holding. So Good. All right. They're in the bag of holding. That I gave to uh, Luna. Luna's holding. Luna's, Luna's, Luna's bag of holding. Yeah. What color do you what color did you want it to be? Purple. It's purple. Okay. It's purple. Okay. Uh, flip so the bag of holding down to the. Now I will take out the barrels. Like. All right. So upside down. Yeah. Three yeah. barrels. We like we found these when we were um, doing some work for some people yesterday, and we thought you might want to sell them here at your bar or your restaurant. Uh, you see, as you pull those out, that um, where she was sort of animated and um, sort of excited to see you guys before she sort of spills. Great. And she says, uh, where where did you find these? We were 
hired to investigate someone's basement. Yeah. And, they were here and there was here. actually a secret passageway in the basement. And I will thieves can't my fingers saying I've got more. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so you found these at the end of a of a of a strange tunnel. Yes. Yep. There were yeah. alligators in the tunnel, and there was some corpse at the bottom of the lake. Ah. They had this ring that the, the he's wearing. Grab right his now. arm and pull his Yeah, I, I show the, I show the ring. Okay. Uh, that she, was the more. <laughs> yeah. So she looks at the ring. She gives you a nod, and she says, "Oh yes, this is an excellent find. Uh, these spirits are." Um, are, 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 are kind of hard to get here. They're, they're quite heavily taxed upon Winport. So I will uh, I will definitely buy them from you. Cool. How much have out of character, even though they were originally hers? <laughs> uh, she has not uh, indicated that that is the case. But, you don't um, know that. Maybe she was acquiring Micah. them. Yes. Micah. How does ten gold each send? For... Ten gold to How many girls do we have? Three. Oh no, I'm gonna give ten gold to each of you. Oh. Not ten gold per barrel. Oh, good. So fifty gold for three barrels at the expense of mine? It's not mine, it's uh it is whiskey. Oh, whiskey. Okay. I mean she's a bird. I don't care, I don't drink. Yeah, exactly. Birds don't drink alcohol. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, I don't know anything about money. Other than like I feel like mechanics and stuff. What about what do you think? Do you think that's enough? Ten Wait, gold is nice to have in my pocket. I'm good with that. I don't know what the rest of the people buy. I'm good with that. I'm good. And uh, and you said that the um the dead bodies you found in the neighborhood um were killed by alligators. Yeah. Dead body. Any, not sorry, okay. Alligators? Yeah. Why are you sure? Crocodiles. <laughs> one body. One body. Oh, okay. That's that's one body that had one body. Um, and she raises a finger, and one of the waiters comes over, and uh, she has a, a brief hushed conversation with the waiter, and the waiter leaves, and she says, "I would, uh, uh, would of course appreciate your discretion. Mm -hmm. Um, the, these 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 barrels, uh, you you did not find them." <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Um, sure, why not? As uh, I guess. As as thanks for your discretion, I will give you each an additional ten gold. Oh, cool! Boy. Oh, that almost doubles the amount of money I have. We're rich now. Guys. Oh yeah, keeping it secret. I can buy mechanics for a week. Yeah. <laughs> a week. <laughs> you can buy all kinds of stuff. Hey guys, I'm at eighty-two. I mean, uh. And also, we have a rest, so I have more hit points now, right? But well, how much money do you have? Yeah, we just left. She will communicate to you, Miss, using Thieves' Camp, that she wants to speak with you later. Okay. Uh, there's no no real urgency for this. This was a really nice restaurant, and I do appreciate your parents and all the work that they do feeding us, but I would like to come here uh, every now and then. No, okay. Yeah. You know, support the community. I guess. Yeah. You do have to pay for this food, though. <laughs> um, and as, as you guys are leaving, she says, I, I will let the mayor know, know that you have taken care of my concern. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we don't need to go to the West Jason? Apparently not. Mom, you want to check on this? How was it? Mm -hmm. Sorry, supper is being cooked while we play. So it looks so, like you don't have to go east at all. Now we just gotta oh. do the giant lizard that might have been the dinosaur we killed with the triceratops earlier. I still have notes for that. I could use those to talk about There were multiple large lizards, so... That's fair. That's we fair. fought lots of dinos. Mm -hmm. Let's go see if we can kill a giant lizard. Right. So the uh, overseer Tyrell told you guys that you needed to report first to the... Uh, the, the, the general homestead. And as you guys approach, uh, sitting on the front porch of the homestead is a, uh, a very young man, incredibly skinny, and he, he stands up and he says, Oh, excellent, you're here. I am Tim. 
Hide him. And you see uh, he is wearing leather armor, and around his waist is a sword. And uh, as he greets you guys, the sword belt falls down. And he says, oh, I'm sorry. He bends down and picks it up and tries to tighten it on. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like the belt fits him very well. Ah. And he says, I, I have been sent Did by... Did the belt hold the wrist when the pants fit? This, this, this one is... he's using to hold his sword on. Ah. Yes. It's not attached to his pants, which is part of the problem. Mm -hmm. um, I have been sent by Overseer Tyrell to, uh, to travel with you because you had mentioned that you had already handled the... Um, the problem that the ranchers are dealing with. We so, think. Um, so I will come with you, and uh, I will see what we see. We think probably we killed a pretty big lizard a little while ago. Oh, excellent! That that sounds like what they've been describing. They've been. Oh, actually, I have, I have drawings. Did you? Does this look like what they're describing? And you, you see him sort of go white as a sheet and go. Ah, that's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> I really hope not! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's letting you kind of do because then it's already dead. Oh, yes, okay. Well, um, lead, lead the way. Alright. Are we going to where we killed the thing, or are we going to where We're the ranches are in the ranches hopes of finding? Are, so that, like, yes, I, I, I'll take you to the site of the most recent attack, if you like. Okay. Alright. And how long well, ago I'll, was the I'll, most recent attack? I'll, I'll direct you. If there's giant, scary monsters in the woods, I'd like you guys to go first. Mm -hmm. But he's the sword and everything. What? How recent was the most recent attack? Oh, about four days ago. How long ago did you attack the woods? I have no concept of time. Yeah, sure. time is confusing at D&D. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, but did we kill the thing four days ago, and the same time that the ranch was attacked, or did we kill the thing before the ranch was attacked, or after the ranch was attacked? Yeah. We're looking at overlaying. There's some there's some wishy washy. Uh, mm -hmm. Time is a weird soup thing happened. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so he leads you to the site of the attack, and you see giant footprints and broken pieces of fence, and there are a couple of farmers out there who are fixing the fence. T-Vex large footprints? They're very large footprints. Did you sketch the footprints? I sketched the feet. Okay! Looks like a fairly close match. I go um, to one of the people yeah. fixing the fence. Did you see the giant lizard? They say, uh, no, we just noticed the broken fence and the missing cow. Have any, have Has anyone seen the giant lizard? lizard? Um, yes. Who? Who? Um, well, um, my, my four-year-old <laughs> saw the <laughs> lizard. Anybody else? No, no. Could, I, could I ask the four-year-old some questions? Um, sure. Cool. And so he takes you over to his, his section of the homestead. And this little kid waddles out of the house, and he says, "This lady would like to ask you some questions about the thing you saw." And she goes, "Oh, it's scary!" <laughs> Is this what it looked like? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no. 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 It had bigger teeth. That's <laughs> <laughs> his kid's imagination. And a sword. Wait, what? Kids' imagination making things. But like other little big teeth in the sword, is this what it looked like? I think it was wearing pants. It had wings? No. No. Oh, wings would have been so cool. It was It had a a horn. Insight check. I know. Wait, Four can... minus two is two. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for a unicorn T Rex, apparently. <laughs> with pants and a sword. I will like insight. Well, uh, 14? Yeah. And I also. Kids' imagination? Um, can I also this is the most popular this child has ever been. <laughs> um, you have a feeling that the story has grown with each retelling. Oh, same, all the natural ones. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a cute kid. It's there's cute. a there's a unicorn T Rex out there. <laughs> a leopard. Does anyone know what direction it's going? You, uh, you 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 can you, you, you especially the horn. You watched her make that up. <laughs> she was like, a horn. <laughs> Thank you for the comment. Yes. Okay. Um, it was scary. Yeah. Scary as this? Keep, keep. Ah! <laughs> Give it away! <laughs> Alright, let's go. It was scarier than that one. <laughs> that one's not very scary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 uh, scary. <laughs> Child goes back inside and goes back to playing. Uh, Alright, does anyone know what direction it's going? Oh, well, you can follow the, 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 oh, right, the footsteps right. in a general direction. Let's follow the footsteps. The other thing that you guys can do is you remember the general area where you were when you fought the uh -huh. monster. Does it look like that direction? Does it look like the footprints are going in that direction? Let's follow the footprints. Follow the footprints and see if we end up there. Uh, mm -hmm. What we are going to do. Mm -hmm. um, this is a new thing for travel that, I, that I've heard of called a um, a skill challenge. So to find the uh, the path and uh, convince uh, Tim that this is the thing that you needed to kill, you will need to get three successful challenges mm -hmm. before you get three failures. Mm. It's a fairly easy skill challenge. And how skill challenges work is each of you can contribute once, um, unless it's a more complicated skill challenge. Uh, you must use a different skill than everyone else has used, and you have to explain how you're using this specific skill to help you do this. Okay. So, this so is Trevor we're with right now? Tim. 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 Sorry. Persuasion. So you're, you're going to use survival to, to see if you can track the footsteps? All right, roll me a d20. Like to see, like, like to see if any branches are there. You're going to track. Mm -hmm. You're tracking him. Yep. So I like it. Intimidation. I'm just terrible. <laughs> it's because it's, wait, no, can I use animal handling? Well, you got to pick one. Um, you got to choose survival animal or animal survival handling. Survival and it. Your survival and animal handling have the same bonus. I like animal handling. So you're going to use your knowledge of how animals work. Yeah, so I'm going to use, let's see if they're like, I'm gonna wait, it's not your turn. Um, like, and also like, look, like, like to see if I see um, an animal which has the footprint. Okay. Who's going to try and contribute, please? Help me. Yeah, you can do your own. Oh, yeah. That doesn't say we can help. He says we can help on the next one. Um, no. 14. 14? This was not a very hard challenge. That was something that makes sense. So that counts as one success. All right, who's um, contributing next? I have a question. Yes. Would it make sense for this kind of idea? I'm going to make. I'm gonna use performance to stay inside the massive footprints. Like, can what? I use persuasion? What? what is persuasion? No, but how would I use... What? Okay. Uh, can follow uh, it's gonna be It's going to be a harder challenge. Oh. Because you're basically doing the thing from um, Princess Bride, where he's like, step, 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 step. No, recreating like the sword dimension. fight. What? Oh, no. Recreating the sword fight. Yeah. No, okay. That's, that's, I'm not well, going to do that. that. Okay. Anyone else have an idea? I have an idea. Yeah. I'm gonna like talk to Tim and like, like try and explain my notes and the creature we saw and how we killed it with the help of the Triceratops and all that stuff to try and convince him. Brother, big lizard. And like talk about so so how like the thing we saw over there. You're trying to similar. successfully get to where you guys Wait, left. Oh, I you also, also said convincing Tim though. He'll, he will believe when he sees the dead. Oh, body. well, can I investigate to try and see if we can find the dragon? Sure. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one success. You, you, you think you have uh, you think you have a pretty good idea where you're going. You're wrong. <laughs> one success, one failure. How would I use deception? Um, <laughs> How would I use deception and have an easier one? I'm, what am I able to do to help us look? 
I'm gonna go survival so I can okay. look, so that I can track like how from, from looking at the footprints I can track how long they've been here to tell how far behind we are. Sounds good. Okay, light from the way down. Sixteen. Sixteen. You you managed to find tracks and follow them for a while. Do you, right. Does it get me back on track? Yes, it gets you back on track. Do you wanna roll? We need one doesn't more success. It doesn't matter. I don't know what I would do with help. You guys well we're You fine. said you how would fly. I look? You could you could fly up and use your perception to try yeah. and find a, a path. Okay. No one's done that yet. I'm hiding from investigation. Perception. You have to turn glasses. <laughs> All right, well, we're two two. now. Two two. So arrows in the air, trying to figure out the path, but she's having a hard time seeing. Yeah, like the trees. The trees are, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. And help. Luna has directed us one way along these footprints, and and Gadget had us leaving the footprints. But um, Jake brought you Jake back. Jake brought us back um, to the footprints. Yeah. No, it's my turn. And we're on the footprints. We see which direction. I can see which direction the footprints are going. And I'm just gonna BS my way through this and just be like, yeah, we know what we're doing. We're it's right over confident here. adventurers. It's just around the corner. And so you're trying to deceive Tim wait, into wait, that we all have this wait, down. We're professionals wait, mom, here. Mom, wait a second. Too late, dear. This is what I'm doing. Oh no! I was gonna use point You already. <laughs> oh, okay. Nope. Um. 22. 22. <laughs> so you you decide this is taking too long. I'm pretty sure it's right over here. And you start spinning him a yarn. And okay. you lead him over a hill. And 22. it just so happens you're, 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 you're not telling the truth at all. Um, but you end up finding a shortcut and you find the body. And um, there are footprints that match those footprints. And Tim says, oh! Oh, good. Okay, we drank this, the water back and, this, and show the child. This, <laughs> no! <laughs> um, it's too heavy for me to drink. It's pretty I'm heavy. not healthy. Look, look, we killed it. Okay. Um, all right, well, uh, should probably go investigate the body, right? Do I take any tea when I was here? I have one yeah. request. I have and there's one a giant request. pool in it and a shuriken that was like... The burning <laughs> yeah. it's I have one request. Yes. Can you please at least show the child what it actually looks no. like? <laughs> I should have already. I should have already. The, the child is already having nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, th I think it, the, the child will be fine if we just tell it that it's dead. Yeah. yeah. You're the bard. Why that it was can't wearing you appreciate pants. her wanting to tell a good story? Oh, yes. yeah. But I also want to see what things are. So it's not just ima her imagination going on. Actually, around. I don't want the town to have to see these things because no. the town needs to be safe so that we can be safe. Mm -hmm. You have a home base to come back. I don't to. want one of these things rampaging the town. Oh no. no. All right. So Tim, what do you need from us to prove that this is the thing? Well, let's go investigate. All right. I'm gonna. For right. me, investigate. I'm gonna investigate it. Okay. Really All right, so you guys just wander across the field to where the body is. Okay. Yes. This is a pixie. Okay. Um. Twelve. Twelve. All right. For investigation. So I'm rolling terribly tonight. Woo! Well, you always been rolling terribly. You were preoccupied by what you were working on before we left. Before Luna pulled you out of there. All right. Well, who has a passive perception above thirteen? I have above. I have. 13. You have a thirteen. I have. Where's a passive perception? Okay. Fourteen. Really? Sam has a fifteen. All right. As you guys are approaching, uh, Jake, you notice that there's some movement happening. Oh, um, but I have higher than him. Okay. Oh, you notice? Do, do you? Yeah, she's yeah, at fifteen. 15. Oh, yeah. So the two of you notice movement. Uh, but I notice like. Sooner. Yeah, you notice sooner, and you notice there, there. Um, it looks like more than one thing. Oh no, dinosaurs! Can we get back? I don't. I don't. You don't have a gun. <laughs> I have a gun. I, I wouldn't get back. Can we get back? 
grab your banjo and go, walk, <laughs> walk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would go in front of some like truck. All right. So they were trying to hide from you. They did not do a good job of hiding from you. So we will roll initiative. But, but, but I, I also wanted to stay because I was already thinking that there might 18. be something nailed. Can yep. I like put peel um a vine whip? You want to vine whip as they come charging up? Yeah. As a prepared action? Yeah. Okay. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Where's my book? I had a little notebook here. What are we finding now? Do you see that Was it this, Dad? No. Uh, grab me a small. Here, pass me that panda one. Okay. I got Lone and Lewis. This is your COVID journal, dude. Here. That's fine. Yes. All right. Um, I got two. one one. I only wrote in it three times over COVID. So. All right. 11 for Luna. 14 for Jake. Yeah. 20 for Era. 20 for Era. Yeah. Um, I need Gadget and Mist. 25. Oh, 18. Right. <gasps> What is your rest of initiative? Seven. Uh, did you say eighteen? Seven? Yeah. All right. So you. So as you guys uh, notice the the movement, and you guys say stop, springing across the field and running towards you, you see six small dinosaurs. <laughs> and uh, and I attack them. And you vine whip one of them. <laughs> All right, roll an attack. Well, 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 well. Oh yeah, this is right here. You had a. Um, You're very competitive, you know that, right? Well, it's just every I'm single time. Not every time. Uh, 13 yeah. just hits. Oh, and then it's like... Right. Sarah, does Vine Whip do damage? And I beat it. Every single time. Thorn Whip? Yeah. Okay, how do you feel about my perception always um, goes under 10? Okay, so they're charging towards you. You vine whip one of them closer to you, and it takes a d6 of damage. How much damage did you do? Uh, is this a d6? Yeah. That's a pretty d6. Um, three? Beautiful. No, she wouldn't let me take those ones. Yeah, she didn't even All right. Uh, Mist, one of them is out front. It's been whipped towards you. The other five are charging up behind. Oh, thank you. That's what I need for this character. Ooh. That's yes. awesome. Okay, let's see what I have for a point. Um, you were just, I, want, I, I need to go to the washroom. I'll be right there. Yeah, that's all right. You're at the end of combat. <sighs> Right. I guess I'll get up and walk all the way around and get in the way of the camera simply because Sarah decided. <laughs> Enough. Yeah, Alright, Miss, please. what are you doing? I'm gonna run. Becca, did you hear me? Yep. And. You don't want chocolate. I'm, I'm fine. Yes. There is only one other cup. Oh, where's the plastic cups? Um, I'm sorry, I looked for plastic cups. I don't believe there is any. <coughs> Lily, quiet. Lily. <coughs> okay, I'm going to run up and I'm going to attack it with my crossbow short sword. Okay. I don't want to be my lawnmower. It's a lawnmower. 12. Uh, 12 does not hit. Okay, I'm going to use my offhand. Okay. Um, 23. 23 hits. Roll damage. 7 damage. That's exactly enough to kill the first one. Okay. Uh, arrow. Okay, um, I'm going to run forward and whack a guy. Okay. Uh, 14. 14 just hits. Yeah. Well. Thirteen just hits, so it's slightly better than just hitting. That's a D eight. Um, Twenty one. Twelve damage. All right. So as you as you 
run forward. You come towards the come towards the one on the far left. I think the tiny cup's yours, Becca. Okay. You you have. Uh, Do I get another strike in the past? No. No, just my uh, strike? Yes, you can unarm strike or you can unarm strike twice if you want to do that. Okay. 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 Alright, and then you run towards the other one and punch towards it and it ducks its what? head back. Gadget! Did I kill the one? Before? You killed one of them, yeah. Well, what did Gadget want? Uh, okay. Ooh, firebolt. Okay. Roll on the back. There are four of them left charging towards you with their big nasty claws. I should not use the dice, but that's evil. Alright, wait, where's my bonus? Dirty 20. 20 hits, roll damage. Two? Three. Three. Okay. Jake. I am going to. Pull up my bag. Yeah. And then say, that would deal with damage when you ever put. Ah. <laughs> Alright, I've got to roll a wisdom save, right? Delicious mockery. Delicious mockery. Twelve. Fail, so now what time are you going to do? D4. I really... And are you doing the one that, uh, that just got set on fire, or one of the other ones? I'm going to do the one with the most HP. Also, what do I add? Nothing? Nothing. I believe the upgrade makes a small grade. You get it. Upgrade at level 5. What level am I? 4. 4. Oh, I saw a thing, which is like a D&D bar villain that people are scared to approach because he just insults them and they die. Because like after a certain amount of levels, it's powerful enough to kill the, the commoners yeah. in one go. Yep. I mean, technically with D4 starting damage, you can kill a commoner in one right. go. Um, you know, you can put the soap raptors. in this. You can put soap in this. Yep. Okay, we're, we're doing something else right now. Mm -hmm. The uh, raptors uh, go two on either side of Mist and two on either side of Era. Um, and their bite is uh, 18 for Era. And uh, 14. Uh, oh, is it for that? That was for Era still? Yeah. For two. So Era, you take. Oh, wow, that was terrible. You take three points of piercing damage as one of the raptors slashes you with its claw. Miss. Um, 18? 18, yes. And, uh, 11. 11 misses. Okay. Uh, missed, you take 7 points of piercing damage as one of the raptors slashes you with its claw. The one that, the one that hits Sarah, the 3 damage, is the one I wish is not for. Okay. Luna! Yes? Your turn! Um, Vine Whip, Dale, can you do it? Uh, Vine Whip, Thorn Whip, you Vine must whip. make... Roll an attack. Okay. 17 plus whatever. Yep, roll a d6 for damage. Two. And she pulls one of the, um, raptors. Are you hitting one that's been hit, or one that hasn't been hit? One that hasn't. Okay. Wait, no, one that has. Either way, she pulls one off of someone. Yeah, she pulls one off so that, uh, who, who did you unsurround? Did you unsurround Mist or Jake? Um, no, it was Era. Mr. Or Mr. Era. Era. Okay. Cool, thanks. Mist, top of the order. There are two raptors around you. Yeah, no problem. Um, how close is everyone else? Mm. Is anyone else within? No. Nope. Okay. Era is about 15 feet away from you. Okay, at least. Oh, I didn't do a sneak attack on it. You said that that one filled it anyways. You didn't have sneak attack. There was no one. With my fancy footwork. No, my, my rackish audacity. I yeah. Can, you no, can give yourself advantage. Not fancy footwork. Fancy footwork. Create uh, creature. No, which one is it? If I'm the only teammate within five feet of 
who I attack, I get a sneak attack. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Wait, so you always get sneak attack? No. Almost always. Almost always. <laughs> yeah. Because flanking. Uh, you have flanking, I guess. Sneak... Uh, no, sneak attack is. If you have advantage. If you have advantage. Or you have an ally within five feet. Within, yeah. Or you have no allies within five feet. But I don't get it at ranged with no, no one else there. So okay. if I throw daggers at something over there, you don't get sneak I attack. don't get. Uh, if, th th sometimes I don't get sneak attack. Sometimes. That's what it's Okay. Dirty 20. I just well, get to the other one. Yeah, that hits. I got an Three dice. Sorry, I only three dice, right? Uh, D6 for the sword. Oh, D6 for the D6 sword. D6 for the frost damage. And then two D6 for, D6 for, for sneak. Okay, so plus six. Chuck, 23. Kill. Yeah, you kill one of them. Yeah, yeah swing. Yes. Turn around and hit the other one. Uh, 22. That hits. Roll damage. This is just a single dice. Um, eight That's damage. Good. Eight damage. Alright, you kill one and you kill another one. Era. One of them is ten feet away from you and there's another one right next to you. I'm gonna hit the one right next to me. Okay. Um eighteen plus six. Yep, twenty-four, that hits. Uh oh, the crow, that's rolling well, nice damage for you every time. I love this dice. Alright, that's dead. You can run up and punch the other one. Okay. Ten. Okay. Ten does not hit. Um, at initiative order twenty, Jim. Uh, Tim. Tim reaches for his sword and his belt falls to the ground. And he says, "Oh no!" Wait, doesn't he have gone last round too? Yeah, I forgot. Gadget, your turn. He was too shocked that he wasn't able to. Do he was too surprised. Um, with this, I'm gonna shoot again at the same guy. All right. 21! 21 hits. Roll damage. Seven. So the last one comes, uh, jumps straight towards Era's face. You duck down, whip out your gun, <laughs> and shoot it dead. Alright. Good work, guys. Yeah. That was 60 experience each. Yeah. Tim says, oh my, that was dangerous. You didn't even attack bullets. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah, We're the experts here. Uh, I need to write down my... Uh, you you attack 60 more. Gravel, you yeah. And I only got kills. So we're at 3,000... This is three 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 Well, we're at 3,490. Yeah. They need... Okay. What? This no, I have three thousand four hundred. How much do we have? Oh, okay. I'll trust you guys. Spell? I'll just change it at the end of the thing. Yeah. So just do that over top of the carriage. Um, eight hundred ninety XP. That doesn't seem not. All right. Not accurate. So let's go investigate the, the right. T-Rex body. You investigate the T-Rex body. Um, it looks like these things were eating it. There's a lot left, less left here than there was last time you guys were here. Um, Tim says, this looks like the thing that the girl described. It's not wearing pants, though. <laughs> oh, she was obviously her just imagination running wild. Yes. Yes, that, that, that happened. So sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to get in the car and get the car to the store. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim's going to try and get in the car to the store. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim's going to try to get in the car to the store. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim's going to try to get in the car to the store. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim's going to try to get in the car to the store. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim's going to try to get in the car to the store. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim's going to try to get in the car to the store. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim's going to try to get in the car uh, Fort and Children's Services should look into that. All right. And you want this? All right, let's go back to town. Tim, let's go. Do we get our money? Uh, you were not actually offered any money for this job. What? Um, you guys had asked the mayor to uh, send workers and uh, open oh, up yeah. that pass. Oh, yeah. So you, uh, as you get back to town, you go back to see uh, Overseer Tyrell. 
and he says, yes, I've got excellent reports from uh, from everyone. They've, they've all promised to leave me alone for a while. So I will send some workers out. Um, there, there's a, uh, a clan of dwarves here that are building fortifications, and I can send them. Um, but with what, with what has been reported with a whole bunch of dinosaurs, I'm going to have them actually build a gate um, so that we don't let more dinosaurs in as we clear this pass, because that would be dangerous. Um, the, uh, the dwarves tell me that the work will take approximately a month. Oh, so we have a month to do that. So now is your first set of downtime before you continue my, your adventure. I go to my house and start taming some animals. You're going to tame some animals? So um, uh, Jake, Jake pulls you aside and asks you to help him tame the trike. Also, I kind of suggested after we tame the trike, mm -hmm. to Sam go into the forest and tame the small critters. Yes, Wonder no. why? Mm -hmm. So that Sam can then be like, okay, please pass this note home. And then Adam also just pass the note home. Oh. And also maybe a bear or a wolf. There is a spell called Animal Messenger that would let you do that. Oh, not me. You don't even have to tame the animal. But oh. I like doing this. Also, if she tames animals, she can just have animals like uh, at the ready. Alright. Okay. So you guys are having a month's worth of downtime. Uh, you want to you want to try and tame animals. I want to try to so help him. So he'll help you take me a lot of me. No, the hobbles. We're taking the hobbles. Oh yes, we so need a lot of herbivores. You're yeah. taking the herbivores. So we, we need lots of leaves, lots of berries. Mm -hmm. So I'll go. I'll go home to get some of my stuff. I'll get my mother. <laughs> All right. So you and your mom work up some um, ultimate dinosaur food, <laughs> and I also collect some leaves. Like you, you, you collect some okay. that I like. Uh, now I need both of you to roll me animal handling, or one of you to roll me animal handling with advantage. Sam with advantage. I thought you wanted to. Actually, no, I'm handling. Sam, please let me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but good. well, you're working with her. That's why she has advantage. Um, yeah, but if she has advantage, it probably means she's supposed to be doing most of the work. No, um, you're working with her. What do you have so for a plan? No, it just, Sam, what my is animal handling, handling is not that high. I have a oh, plus five. five. So you should probably do it. Are you sure? Oh, it's earlier. It's earlier. It's, yeah. Sam, it's, it's, it's basically just a sweet thing to check. My animal handling is down like. This is a five. Oh. Alright, so five. you can each roll, and that's the same as advantage. Yeah, okay. So, 20? Yes. Imagine if we both own that 20. Seven. 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 What did you roll? I will okay. <laughs> well, roll. Five 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 no, you guys were rolling together. It was a good yeah. challenge. I just I feel I like tell me what to do. Yeah, but I feel like it always kind of goes like this. I'm a bit upset because I feel like from what from the rules it would mean that Sam's on the same. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You guys work together. And now you have to So you bring the special them. food that your mom made. Yeah. And I weed all of the seeds. And, and I, Luna brings a bunch of berries and, and some they all, leaves. And I all put them in my um, bag of berries. And you guys spend yeah, a couple of weeks. The camera's having a hard time following you jumping <laughs> up and down. And you guys spend a couple of weeks tracking it down and taming it. And then you bring it back to town? Yes. yes. Or okay. to Luna's. Or to Luna's homestead. Homestead where Luna's think, brother's taking care of the elders. I feel like back to town, probably. Mm, but not there. I don't know. Because I, I, if we do it, the, the homestead it definitely would mean that it's going to be hard to go and get it every year. So you want to okay. town? I wanna at least so you're going to bring it back to town? Do you need an anxiety thing? No, he's, nope, he's fine. Okay. Don't touch those. Um, 
Sam, what else is Luna doing during the downtime? Um, so I you guys, you can have up to two projects. One with somebody else and one alone. Um, I am going to school, um, tame some animals. Like smaller, smaller critters. Well, not bugs, but like. Is that what is that what Luna wants to do, or does she want to go spend some time with her brother? Um, and um, hunt. I'm gonna go hunting for a bit of meat because I still want to tame some wolves. Okay. Uh, roll me a survival check, please. Twenty. Natural twenty. All right. So you do some hunting with your brother. Uh, you manage to get some meat that you can use to um, to, to tame some uh, meat eaters, and you get some furs, and you manage to sell those furs for five gold. Okay, so I have. Does she manage to find five gold? Yep. And then roll me a d100. For how many wolves she finds, or what? For what she finds. Oh. And also, I'm also going to look. Um, I'm just I don't know. Like, because we like if she mm -hmm. finds a bear, mm -hmm. I have to look for her. If she finds a wolf, mm -hmm. I have to look for her. Um, Bahamut, yes. right? Probably yes. Yeah, war fighting. Don't you follow Nevaeh? No, no, that's other campaign. Nevaeh, Nevaeh. Did she? I thought. I thought you followed Nevaeh. Nope, that was other campaign. This is. Um, war birds monk people. Yeah. <laughs> war bird monk people. Sam, <laughs> you can put your papers I, back after when it's not your turn. Why don't you roll your yeah, D100? Yeah, roll your D100, first. please. Um, for what is that? Two of these, one like this and one like this. Okay, so one D10 and one one that has the bigger numbers. And the and other D10. Like yeah, yeah, and the other D10 still in the bag there. Oh. That's not your character's name. Huh? I'm writing something down. You're writing notes. Okay. Make, making ideas, planning for what she's doing in her downtime. Um, well, 10 and 8. Um, 18. Well, no, All right. It could also be 81. <laughs> no, it can't be 81 if it's a 10 and an 8. I know. Yeah. Is this a D10? Yes. Yep, that's 18. Okay. Um, that's so you, you, do, uh, you don't find a lot of animals to tame. Looks like you guys have killed a lot of the stuff that was around here, and maybe the dinosaurs ate the rest of them. But uh, you let your brother know that you're looking for things to tame, and he says he'll keep an eye out. And um, you guys use most of the meat that you had to make better friends with the owl bears. Oh, I also thought you could set up a specific... I thought you were going to say you set up a trap, was it? That was right. also maybe a trap, and then we feed it until it's like, look like broccoli. Ark. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Era, what is Era do um, doing? Do you have a project you're doing with somebody else? I don't believe so. I, believe both have I think at the start, I would go and check on the owl bears, okay. uh, yeah. and then I'd go to my house and continue building it. Okay. Roll me a D100. Let's do that fast. Uh, 20. 20. You do more work on your house. Um, by the end of the month, you actually have a roof up. Woo! So you think that if there's a storm, you won't be all wet up, up here alone. Yeah. Um, you also do some martial arts training because that's what you do every day. Yeah. Um, Okay. And uh, time passes fairly quickly for you as you try to build your house. What are you building into your house? A bedroom? A training room? Uh, um, it's probably just a single room which has like training equipment and like okay. a sleeping area and probably some sort of storage compartment and a little balcony. Okay. And then like ladder, rope ladder down. Like right. one of those clubhouses, so she could be like, nope, you ain't coming up here. <laughs> Alright, Miss, Maybe what are you doing? Need the um, <laughs> oh yeah, um, every once in a while I really cast the invisibility on her. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. Whatever she needs. So that I can, so that me and her can make some money. That's not, that's not a main action, right? It's just whatever she finds you. She's like, hey, I want to be a little 
That's not a main Um, can we, I, you want to help Yeah, Gadget. I want to do that. So, why don't you help Jake first while I think. Is that alright? Wait, where are you helping me with? Um, my fire. Oh, my fire. She passed you a note. But, but you want to be back? 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 Um, I was just it's just saying, maybe you should help Jake first while I think. Okay. So you only have one. So you, you work on taming the trike, and you also want to work on your firework. Your firework. Blindness firework. Your blindness firework. So you track down uh, Gadget, and I want you to roll a... Um, you already have a fairly good idea of what you're doing, so you need to roll an Arcana check. And gadget, you roll an intelligence check. What do you want? Intelligence. Uh, intelligence plus proficiency. All right, and is this going to take part of my time? I beg you. Some of it, yep. Yeah. Roll right. high. Go. This is all I request Go. of you. No, eleven. Yeah, hey, you guys both roll eleven. That's good. Eleven. Okay. Not so you guys spend some time working on this. Well, I was going to finish it now. You come up with a, a prototype that you think will work. Um, it does blind people, it just... but only at night. <laughs> okay. And they are blinded for one round with a con save of 16. Does it feel damage or not? Because it's no. like, like, like an explosive. No? Okay. No. Cool. Right but down. it also has locks. <laughs> but you need me to... I was imagining it would be like... 1d4 damage just as an explosion. But it has locks. Maybe later. Oh, yeah, so. Locks. Two, you said, or one? one. It has one. locks. Wait, I, oh, I only have one? Yep. Oh. Uh, well, but should... I know how to make them, right? Yeah, and you can well, probably reload it. Well, oh, so it's like a contraption that goes like. Yeah. And like this reload it. Yeah. So you don't want one to say. It has locks in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, DC 16. DC 16 con save. Uh, yeah. They will be like. Okay. It, I imagine, also, if I were to try and refill it in combat, that would take an action. You can't refill it in combat. Oh, okay. Because it requires you to cast your light cantrip on a bunch of things. I guess. So, uh, so it's kind of a once per day kind of thing. Oh. Okay. For now. Yeah. For, I now. Guess. For now. For as now. a cantrip. As a cantrip. I'm like it requires some focused work from you. Alright, so that's two things. You tamed the Triceratops and you built your blindness bomb. Yes. And you also work with your mom you in, in the restaurant. You tamed the tri Triceratops? Yeah. Wow. Um, I think that while you're over at Gadgets, uh, working on your contraption, you come outside and your Triceratops has a harness on it. And you see the rest of Gadget's family is like. <laughs> <laughs> so your Triceratops looks like it will be able to carry things for you now. And can I ride it? Uh, if you really want to, probably, yeah. But what if I'm going to sit there the entire name of Gadget's family? What is the Triceratops? What was the name? Obviously, oh, yeah. Sarah, right? Oh, what did you guys name the Triceratops? <laughs> All right, you guys need to think of a name while we move on to Gadget. All right, I'm gonna probably say the thing I wrote you a note to about for last because then I think it'll be easier to find her because we'll be busy doing things around me at the time. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna start off with trying to make my gun better. Like I can, I want to be more fit, effective using it while I'm using my intelligence more than my. Dexterity, like it uses the moment. Oh, okay. All right. Want it to be more to my. So you put you put some sights on it, and you spend some time uh, sighting it in. So you're using your brain rather than your. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll me a, a tinkering check to see how how good the sights you put on this thing are. All right. Uh, Twenty one. Math. Um, I'm imagining it has more. 25. 25. Oh, cool. Dad? Yeah, babe. Is, the, is um, what, what gender, gender is the Triceratops? Because <laughs> I want to name it Tierra, and Lewis is like, I think it's male. 
<laughs> do you guys know how to tell if it's Roll a male a or a female? Four. Roll a D4. Or do you right. need to... D6, one through three. Wait, but, but, it's I... a female. Four, five, six, it's a male. Okay. I know all one, about three, three. animals. Okay, so you're going to roll. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six. Sorry, what do we say about cheering on numbers? I, it always yeah. has a female. The name is not the, technically Tierra yet, but I want to name it Tierra. Oh, I think it's pretty. I want to give you a bird that you can introduce the character. It's not Tierra. Whatever gender you want. He tamed it. It's not Tierra. It's not Tierra. yours. I know. You didn't spend your time taming right. animals. Uh, I don't know if Jake knows it's a girl. <laughs> yeah. I went what, to Hello once. What did you want to call I think it? I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna right. go Why don't you and Sam run, run to the other room and have a conversation about what you're going to name this time? Okay. Can I write down a T or K somewhere in it? Okay. Run, run. Not Tierra. Just because I'm, okay, so yes, I'm keeping my choice. You throat. can I'm use not. your uh, intelligence Woo! plus two. Uh, for aiming your gun. So, to hit? Yeah. Plus, plus proficiency? Or plus two? Plus two. She's got really good sights on this thing. She rolled a 25. Yeah, I know. But, like, is it her proficiency? Is she proficient with it? Is it yes. the proficiency as it goes up? Then yes. it would, right? Is it that, that two could be the proficiency. Um, and I think we'll use your, you're also aiming at specific parts of creatures. All right. So, we'll use your intelligence for damage as well. Okay. Oh, so I gotta change that too. So it's like a cantrip, but you actually get to use your Look. proficiency bonus. Oh, I guess that's right. That's, that's cool. So it has the chance to do more. Yeah, it actually, it probably has a higher average damage. Yeah, much higher. But it has uh, ammo, so. Okay, and then you spend some time working with Jake. Uh, what other projects did you have? Um, do I have enough time to do one more thing before my thing Depends happens? on what they are. I'm gonna check out the workshop because you said it's three days, and it's probably it's been a month. It's a month. It, yeah. This is a month of time. So, so probably... you, you you work with the workshop, and you realize that yes, you can pull it out, um, and and collapse it. Um, it if you keep it out for longer than an hour, mm -hmm. then the um, then it doesn't open the next day. How long does it take to open? Uh, another day. All right. Yeah, I remember it's my. Familiarize myself with the workshop and stuff, so I know how to use it. Okay. And then I, hours. then I, at the end of the month, around the end of the month, approach our era or Hello. What am I doing in the town? I'm in the middle of no, making came, a house. She came to find you at, oh. at your house. I, 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 made, over my I made you this. You see, like, it? it's it it's looks a, like a staff, a small, but really short. It's a small staff, uh -huh. and it and at each end there are little tiny. Um, rings that get smaller. Um, it looks like a collapsible staff. And I like. I fly down go. from my treehouse. Here you go. Test out. Test out. What, what do I do with it? It's like you have to like do the turn and pull out. You twist and it goes, <laughs> bang, and you're pink. <laughs> I rolled a dex check to see if I can Yes. I rolled a dex check to see if I can see it. I rolled a natural one! <laughs> yes! I love now pink. We have a name for the trike! What's it's, the name? The first name it's, is Tara, and her second name is Co. And Terra then Co? what's the last Terra name? Terra Co? Terra Co. That's cool. Right. I like Terra Co. You guys need to write that down somewhere, because I'm not going to remember that. This is your trike. Oh, I said Theo trike. How dare I need you. something important. I thought... I, I, here's the real one. You yeah, open it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheek! Yeah, it was a collapsible staff. I, I mean, okay. <laughs> it is it not magical, it is mechanical. Does it do more damage than my coiling dragon staff? No, your coiling dragon staff is... But but you can use it for things that you would use a staff for. Can you write Theo code? Like checking for traps. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mechanical collapsing staff. Uh, all right, so and I need you to roll me three uh, intelligence-based tinkering checks. Cool. I'm gonna write a room on this. Put the page over and write it on the. Um, so five plus five is 
Okay, here for my trophy one so one is a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. One is a 21. Mm -hmm. And the other is a 17. All right. Now, when we were playing last time, you were really fixated on your clockwork dragon. Yes. Did you spend time working on your clock, clockwork dragon? Definitely. Okay. Can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> it's my buddy. Yeah. Uh, so you had you had made it, and it had breathed fire and blown itself up, right? Yeah. All right. So you spend some time tinkering, and uh, you think that you have um, you have perfected it so that it can um, breathe fire without blowing itself up. Um, so basically, you you can wind it up, and you can set it down somewhere, and it will walk up to twenty feet and breathe fire. Cool. And then it breathes fire for six seconds. Or yeah, one round. It, it basically does uh, burning hands, but uh, there's a delay you can set mm -hmm. for how how long it waits before it starts walking. Or could I do it like it walks and then it breathes fire? Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, Thank you. Fire it blew up last time because the little soldier guy stabbed me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot that on the post. <laughs> All right. What? what um. I should write that down. In your book? Yeah. yeah, you should. Why in your book? Why not? If you don't write it down, you don't have it. No, but if it goes in your book, you would have it. No, it's in other just different oh. rights. It is seven, dear. Can you and I, since I had so much free time yes. myself last time, can you and I finish we'll, up we'll, my. We'll do. Next yeah. time? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you guys very much. Thanks. Time for supper. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.